stuff together. Check. Check. Okay. okay, we're good. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. It is 4.30. Welcome to uh, this meeting of council. We would ask that you please rise and join us for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I do have a question. Our flags are backwards. Uh-oh. Yes, they are. I was, yes, I was told that last council meeting, they, they asked why we said the Pledge of Allegiance to the Can we do right now and make it ready? No, I don't care. You can do it whenever. But I just wanted to point it out. All right, very good. I was just back, right? Oh, oh, yeah, you've got to be careful. Watch yeah. that ceiling. So, <laughs> we'll just take care of it later. Just take care of it. I'll do it later. <laughs> now the moment of silence. <laughs> Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag from the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, if we could have a roll call now, please. Tom Eggers? Here. Brad Hand? Here. Wayne Marahona? Here. Pete Hamill? Here. Okay, we're going to item two, approval of the agenda. So moved. Support. Roll call, please. Eggers? Aye. Kent? Aye. Barahona? Aye. Hamill? Aye. Okay, moving on then to the public forum for discussion or presentation of any items on or off the agenda by the public. Anyone here that wants to address the council at this time? Is there anyone listening in by Zoom that has anything they would like to address the council with? I see things moving around, but I don't see unmuting taking place. One last chance if you're listening in by Zoom to address the council. All right, seeing that there's no action there, we're going to move on then to the consent agenda. Uh, one comment regarding the uh, liquor license approvals. There have been no violations. Normally we get that uh, notification. There have been no violations for the three that are requested, uh, requesting approval over the past year in terms of their license or so, just so you know that. At this point, I'll take a motion to approve the consent agenda items. So moved. Support. Discussion? Roll call, please. Hamill. Aye. Kent? Aye. Eggers? Aye. Aye. So that moves us all the way down to item 6A, uh, second reading of the ordinance amending the sewer rates effective July 1 of 2021. This follows the first reading, which we read at our last meeting, recommending a 3% increase per our budget workshop discussion. I've checked with Ange. There have been no written comments. Are there any verbal comments anyone would like to make at this time, either in the room or listening in by Zoom? Okay. Uh, then take a motion to approve the second reading. And uh, being as there have been no comments this time or last, uh, perhaps we want to suggest that we waive the third reading. Correct? That would be a good idea. Should we be alarmed by that scowl, Micah? No, I'm just counting. Okay. <laughs> I, I saw a scowl too. Use the practice. Super majority. <laughs> so, uh, somebody would like to make a motion to that effect? I'll move that we accept second and waive third. Support. <clears throat> Further discussion? Roll call, please. Kent. Aye. Barahona? Aye. Hamill? Aye. Eggers? Aye. All right, moving on then to item B, considering the award of a contract for the collection system improvements. I'd like to open the public hearing at this time. Again, are there any comments from those listening here or in listening in by Zoom?
Seeing no action, take a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Then moving on to the second part of that, uh, we have a contract with the Alpinata Kings. They forget their name right now in front of me. We'll call for closing the hearing. Oh, we got to have a closing a motion to close the hearing first. We have yep. a motion. motion. I think I caught two people making the motion at the same time, but I don't know who it was. Pete and then Tom. Tom? Okay. 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 Now we need the roll call. Okay. Yeah. Aye. Hamill. Aye. Eggers. Aye. Farahona. Aye. All right, now moving on to the award of the contract. A motion for that. You want an update on it? If you've got one, we'll take one. Well, I just, I mean, the, the information's in your packet, and I do have Sam Johnson with DGR on the phone with us as well. But, uh, yeah, we received five grids as... As stated, uh, the low was 785, the high was 1.366 million, and there was, you know, between the engineer's estimate, was 840. Um, so we feel good about that. DGR has worked with Bainbridge out of their Sioux City office before, but not out of their Rock Rapids office, but they feel like they're a uh, rep contractor based on their experience with the Sioux City office. Um, we have approximately uh, 900 and Fifty thousand that can go towards this project. Yeah, so financially, we're going to check. We, we've relied on DGR in the past with their recommendations, correct? We have, yes. Yeah, okay. and I would go come. So, yeah. I make motion then that we award the contract as to uh, Bainbridge Construction LLC of Kingsley, Iowa for the amount of 785,105.60. Support. Further discussion? Roll call, please. Barahona. Aye. Hamill. Aye. Eggers. Aye. Hintz. Aye. Okay. Anything else we need to do with that one, Sam? Mm -hmm. that cleans that one up, okay. Then uh, moving on to item C, amended and restated Sheldon Urban Renewal Plan. Uh, open the public hearing on the pro proposed amendment number six to that urban renewal plan. Any comments from the public, either present or listening and by Zoom, regarding the urban renewal plan? Again, seeing no action, I take a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Support. Roll call, please. Hamill. Aye. Kent. Aye. Barahona. Aye. Eggers. Aye. All right. Then you have in your packets a resolution determining an area of the city to be an economic development and blighted area, so on and so forth. You can read through all that. Uh, For a purpose of discussion, is there a motion to approve that rep resolution? So move. Support. Any discussion, questions, or comments on that? Roll call, please. Yes. Aye. Barahona? Aye. Hamill? Aye. Eggers? Aye. <coughs> And then we have a second consideration of the ordinance, second item there, second consideration of the ordinance for division of revenues under section 403.19 for amendment number six. If I might, Mayor. Yes, would you please? I'd, I'd like to recommend that um, this ordinance be approved and that second and third readings uh, be waived. And this helps us keep the amendment on track. We have a companion agreement that will be coming at one of the next meetings uh, for Children's World. We also have uh, the bonding authority process is beginning soon for the two and a half million dollars in street projects, which will include the traffic signal up by uh, Taco John's. It will also include Rainbow Drive and downtown projects. So I'd like to recommend that we approve this and wave second and third. Have not received any uh, 
adverse feedback. And today I did link, um, there have been some questions on what is the true TIF release impact um, that had been laid out previously, but I went ahead and I, I linked that in a separate memo, third link from the bottom of this item so you could see how much is being uh, released, roughly $303,000 of new money to the local taxing entities, roughly 140000 of that to the city of Sheldon starting July 1 of 2023. I'm sorry, 2022. Any questions based on Sam's explanation? So we've covered some ground there. Where are we at? Do we need a motion and a second on the ordinance? Okay. So we have a motion and a second on consideration of the ordinance. We need uh, No, we don't have a We don't have one. Okay. <laughs> I move that we approve the ordinance and waive the second and third readings. Okay. There's support for that. Support. Hmm. Last chance for discussion. Roll call, please. Hamill. Aye. Barahona. Aye. Eggers. Aye. Hint. Aye. All right. Then let's move on to the item D there, setting a meeting to discuss the aerial fire truck purchase. Comments you would like to make at this time? Sure. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. So I updated the the link, uh, the memo. Um, we do have scheduling conflicts. It looks like on the 22nd and the 28th uh, with some of you. Um, Tuesday, the 29th, um, does appear to work. Maybe we'll start with that one, and if not, we'll talk about some other dates. I would be available on Tuesday, the 29th. I would as well. And we are figuring noon on that date. Is that kind of the idea? Well, you could Since do. Angie's uh, going to be if, leaving. If you're going to ask fire department personnel to be here, they would have to get off work at noon. So is 4.30 not available on the 29th? On the 29th, 4.30 is available. Is available. Oh. Is available. And again, is that an issue for the firemen? I don't know that. But I would say at noon it would be, yes. And I would guess 4.30 may be, is, could be for some. Yeah, I, and I, I think I might have been looking at the June 30th date, so I would be fine with uh, Thursday afternoon. So if we were to even move it back? Or Tuesday right? afternoon. Would that help? Brad, you've mentioned five Put it up and move it back, make 5 o'clock or 5.30 start. Anything's better than noon. Well, <laughs> I had suggested you know? 5.45. I know for myself we're open at 5.30. I so, can make others work, but that's just, you know, if we're talking times, that would work best for me. I mean, I, I can make either of those work. So. Yeah, I think we should be fairly flexible in this one, give not only the fire department an opportunity to prepare and Available, but also meeting. anyone in the community wants to sit in on this as well. So by the last meeting they were here at 430. So yeah. I would assume the ones that would be here would be done with work then. Okay. <coughs> so then I mean do we push it all the way out till six? Try and give an ample opportunity for I'd be fine with that. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make that as a motion. Would you just six work for you? That's on a Tuesday. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, I'll move that we set the date for the special meeting on Tuesday the 29th at 6 p.m. All right, is there a support for that? Support. <clears throat> Roll call, please. Barahona? Aye. Eggers? Aye. Hamill? Aye. Kent? Aye. All right, that carries. All right, then we move into the reports section of our meeting. Uh, anything, Sam, from you? I do not. 
And Todd, anything from you further? Well, Kurt's not here. Scott's Kurt's not. Actually oh, Kurt. Okay. Kurt, anything you'd like to share at this time? If you're sharing, well, you have to unmute first. <laughs> can you hear me okay, Mayor? I can hear you now, yes, sir. Okay. I just wanted to... Uh... We lost you there, Kurt. I don't know what you did, or if it's the system. He's traveling. Oh. You're probably in a dead zone. Fine. Okay, we got that part. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Kurt. That's all I had. All right. <laughs> hey. All right. Is Scott listening in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything for you, Ange? No, thank you. M Micah? Same as Kurt. <laughs> Council to my left. And to my right. Negative. Okay. Uh, the only comments I have, we have some openings uh, for some various committees. Rec Trails has opening, I think, or opening or two. Uh, Pavilion Board has a couple of openings. Are there any others you're aware of? There's several. There's more coming, so uh, just a comment to the, the community. If you are interested in serving on one of those committees, would like to get a little more involved. Contact myself or one of the council members, and uh, we'll see if we can get you plugged in somewhere. And with that, I'd like to uh, move that we go into closed session. Yes. For a city manager evaluation. Support. Uh, roll call on that, please. Eggers? Aye. Kent? Aye. Garamona? Aye. Hamill? Aye. All right, so we'll be moving into closed session to discuss Sam's performance evaluation. 